Hello, these are new paid games on Steam for today. First game is Next Stop Jehu 2. So, this game looks fun. It's like a open world on RPG. Like, you can just climb the trees and surf on the water and do stuff and like climb the rocks and double jump, triple jump. And then the combat also like super fun. Like, it's so shiny colorful. This is like a boss fight, I think. Too bad it's not in English, but I would play it regardless if there was a demo, right? But no, it's a uh, 2450. Rogue Samurai. Yes, this also seems to be like originally from uh, somewhere in Asia, right? But this is like a kind of survivor game. You just have to kill a bunch of enemies. And. I guess that was the power up there. It's 424. Hop step hot spring. Okay, so this this is like a 2D game, right? You just uh kinda like sky scroller, you go left and right. So you just have to dodge these obstacles. You have this like a power jump, why is there like um fire jump every time? It's like a bonus jump or something. Okay, it's 689. Uncrowned. Okay, this is RPG exploration sailing game. Okay. It looks decent, there's rain, there's other ships, like can you fight or are you just bringing the match or something? Can't tell from here. It's 1109. Solar Kingdom's Human Survival. Exploration, turn-based, tactics, section RPG, RTS. So like a, just a strategy game. Do you need to battle the other fleets or something? Okay, it's 1470. Cultivation Tales, oh, another Asian game. This seems like a survival. Okay, sandbox building, online co-op survival. Oh, this looks like a mess. This PvE, that's lots of spells in one place. Okay, it's 671. Soko Seed. Okay, this seems like a puzzle game. So you need to grow and shrink, and I assume like these... Oh, these are obstacles, these like arrows or lines. Then you just need to lead the, the path to like from the start to this like yellow glowing finish. It's 199. Before the dawn, okay this is like survivor. You can play like a normal character and then you can also play like a tank and then there's this like events like this um, satellite event that you need to capture. Okay it's 424. Oh baby cart. Okay, so it's like a racing game, like PvP probably, or you can probably also play against bots, and there is these power-ups and points that you can upgrade on the track, and um, shoot them to sabotage others. Okay, it looks fun, and there's also like lots of different customization. It's 1950. Trackline Express. Okay, so you need to build a train okay so you can buy like extra wagons and stuff and you need to collect this some kind of resources and then you need to defend your train and set up the towers and stuff okay it's 1331 and there's a free demo Shuzi subdues demons okay party based rpg Okay, so do you control all of these characters? You can switch between them, or like, is this like a party? Like, you can like just pause the game and then switch between characters and then use their spells. Okay, it doesn't look the best, but maybe, maybe. It's 3.99 and there's a free demo. Sticky Arrow. Okay, so this is like a puzzle game. Also, you use the arrow keys and then you need to get all the arrows to the finish line by like pushing them together. Okay. It's 530. 
Scarrito. Okay, so it's like a zombie shooting game. It's PvE action. Like just all kinds of different weapons. And you get some kind of upgrade, so it's like slash survivor. Okay, it looks good. It's 1960 and there is a free demo. Epic Dumpster Bear 1.5 DX Dumpster Fiery Bird. That's a long name. Okay, so it's like a platformer. You just need to go and uh, collect the coins and... Oh, there's like a, this 3D mode also. Or like 2.5D, but... Levels don't seem that difficult, so it's not a like super difficult platformer. The graphics are not the best, but I mean it's playable. It's four ninety nine. Have a pug show. Okay, so this is like a racing game. Ah, you have to dodge these. These orange thingies are like the obstacles, and then there's power ups that you pick up. Ooh, nice transition to a new map. I like, or is this a part of the map? Okay, it seems like you're like completing levels alone. That there's no like other like players or like bots. Yeah, it is single player. It's 1331. Artificer Tower. Colony Sim Tower Defense. Okay, so you just make this tower and then I guess um and if you're coming to these portals and then you just need to expand more and like set up the defenders and expand even further and upgrade stuff. It's 11.83 and there's a free demo. Nexus 5X. A board game strategy tabletop call. Okay, so this is like a space strategy. And... How is this a board game? Well, it's too complex to be a board game, right? I mean, it looks decent. But there's like probably a lot of details to, to learn. Like you couldn't actually play this like a, on the boat itself. Okay. It's fourteen ninety-nine. No rest for the wicked. Okay, well it's like RPG action. It's 3D so it's kinda like souls like, right? There's like all kinds of different attacks and bosses. And there's lots of bosses. The combat looks nice. The graphics is good max. It's $35.99. Scary in the journey. So this is like a horror game. It doesn't say in tags that it's horror, it says action adventure. But it definitely looks horrorish. Okay, so you just need to go around and do you have to run away from this guy? Yeah, definitely. No, he's chasing you. Okay, so you just need to find something to interact with, I guess. It's four ninety nine. The crew motor fast. Okay, so this is a racing game. And yeah, be careful with this one. You might lose access to it. You're just renting the game for a limited time. I mean, it looks decent, like it's made by USB soft, which is also good and a bad thing. It's uh, $34.99, damn, that's 50% of the, the original price is $70, like $69.99, that's insane. And there's a free demo that kinda doesn't work, like, you have to download their Ubisoft launcher. Project 13 Nightwatch. Okay, so you have binoculars and then you need to s like spectate these um, AIs, I guess. And then it's like an anomaly seeker, right? You, if you find someone that moves, you have to target him. And then if no one moves, you, you just clear the level. It's 3.99. Galactic Ruler Enlightenment. Simulation strategy space. Okay, so it's like a... Uh, you need to expand, right? Like, conquer these planets, capture them, and then build stuff on them, probably. This game probably requires some time 
to play to, to, to learn all the details and stuff. It's 1950, and those are all patents for today. Links for the Steam Store page are in the description. Okay, see ya.